is a video response to Papa 22. It's Papa with the number two and then spelled out TWO. I'll put a link down below in the description to his channel with the video that I'm replying to. He was talking about comments and how we deal with comments both on our page and answering comments and when we go to somebody else's page and leave a comment and what do we expect from them as far as answering comments. First of all on my comments I try my best to get to all of them but I've found out as I go back and check on my older videos about the best I've been able to accomplish over time is about a 90% rate which may be between my forgetfulness and YouTube screwing up sometimes and not giving me notification on the comments, probably about as close as you could really get over time to 100%. I can see in the case of those people now that are the big players on YouTube as far as uh, they put up a video and within a day it's got over a thousand views, that's got to be a little bit hard for them. So I could see if you just get bombarded with huge amounts of comments and uh, say somebody leaves a comment that's just basically some version of hey good video or I like your video man I could see um, not necessarily replying to every one of those but uh, I can certainly see the point that if people have made for your average moto vlogger maybe with uh, a thousand or two thousand subs or even less than that if you've commented about two or three times and haven't gotten a response you're kind of uh, you kind of got to figure they're not really into it for the two way which that's absolutely fine I mean everybody should run their channel the way they want and uh, not everybody's here posting videos to their channel for the same purpose. My purpose is the two way so if I comment several times on somebody's video not only will I stop commenting but I probably won't even watch their videos anymore and and I'm not doing it to be mean or anything like that it's just um, that's not really what I'm I'm not a YouTube just to, to watch TV if you want just a one-way experience where you're just being entertained and there's no back and forth uh, you might as well be watching TV so to me if I come to YouTube for the back and forth and the person is interested to that they're just not interested in the same thing I am that's simple as that so Run your channel the way you want and more power to you. And by the time I post this, I think it's going to be, if you're not retired, you're going to be very close. I think you said it would be 11 days, your video's on the 20th, so it would be, if I get this up right around the end of April, you probably will be retired. So that was pretty good, 35 years and out. I did my 35 years and out where I worked, but I, uh, was fortunate enough I got to skip the last five because they had a buyout so it was 30 plus five they bought me out for so it worked out to be the same thing and instead of 55 I got to retire at 50 and as a matter of fact I have been retired for five years right now so right about now would have been the time under normal circumstances I would have retired I probably would have retired about three months ago under normal circumstances if I would have had to work out the whole way So anyway, if you get a chance, and that's also my shout out, I want to give an, another extra shout out too. I want to try, like I've asked other people to do, to shout out at least two people once a month when I post a video. I haven't been excellent at doing it probably, but I try. I'd like to do a shout out to Muzzle Mike too, and I'll put his channel down there too. He's a friend of mine and a regular vlogger. It's nice because vlogging has really changed, and a lot of people have dropped off or posted a lot less. I think it's just... Uh, Vlogging, especially for moto vloggers, kind of hit, hit its peak about 2009, 2010. And then uh, the people that were in it just for short term or tried it out as a hobby and found out it really wasn't something they wanted to do on a long-term basis kind of went by the wayside. Or um, maybe they just decided they posted enough and they want to sit back and enjoy and watch. I can see that point, too. Sometimes I think of myself, too, that... Uh, if I wasn't such a blabbermouth, I probably could catch up on a lot more people's videos if I took about
about a three month hiatus and uh, made an effort to watch everybody's videos, but I think of all the people I'm subscribed to, and I'm subscribed to probably, I don't know, maybe six, seven hundred, and uh, I think at least four hundred of them are somewhat active, and about 150, 200 are pretty active, so there would be no way in a reasonable amount of time that I could keep up and watch every video of everybody's. So, good reason to put dis good descriptions in your titles, too. I would say that's the one thing as I look up and down the list. Keep your titles uh, really close to what the video is about. And at least then, if the subject matter matches, you'll at least snag those people. Because I don't expect everybody to watch all of my videos, too. I know the crossover between I do a weekly TDD report and uh, I do regular moto vlogs and I do other stuff too just as I feel like doing it I do many types of vlogs and uh, I would say the crossover is probably maybe between 50 and 60 percent so I know probably 40 percent of the people that like and watch my TDD reports which is a different style of vlog may not really care for my motorcycle moto vlogs which is fine and Maybe half of the people that watch my moto vlogs or more don't really care for the TDD report because that's just not the kind of stuff they like to watch. And that's fine too. But anyway, I'll ask this question at the end. Are you, uh, if you've been moto vlogging for a couple of years, because I, I'm sure if you're just new and you've only been doing it for a few months, you haven't even made up your mind much of anything about it in the long term but if you've been moto vlogging for about two years how do you feel right now are you is it something you're going to stick with and you're in for the long term or have you um pretty much done everything you want to do and it's time for a change you want to just uh quit moto vlogging and do something else completely different or switch to just watching videos not making any more until something comes along you particularly feel like making a video on. 